Welcome back, legends. I hope you're all fantastic. Today, we're going to put together the ultimate 80s guitar rack using pedals. And this is the all-in option. No expenses spared on any of this. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. And I think you're all really going to enjoy the tones if you like that old school 80s rack thing. So let's just dive straight in. <laughs> Before we get started, let's hear the tone without any of the pedals in line. This is just going to be the default kind of neutral clean sound I'm going to be using. I'm using the neck and middle pickup combination on this old Strat. These are Michael Landau's signature pickups from Sir Guitars, which is kind of fitting. So this is the starting point. <laughs> So that's the clean sound. The first part of this recipe is to apply compression and really kind of squish everything so that we can even out the volume levels between those sparkly clean arpeggios and playing chords. I'm gonna use the Cali 76 Compact Deluxe from Origin Effects. I actually did a video recently with this pedal and my Boogie Mark IV talking about where you can place this in your chain. And I kind of discovered that I really like it after the preamp, which is the way these things were used in the old school Bradshaw rigs. So let's have a listen to this bypassed and then engaged. So that's pretty cool there. You can hear the dynamic range is way down. Playing a chord and hitting really hard is basically the same volume as when I'm playing a chimey arpeggio, which is what we want. The second part of the recipe is to make everything sound a little bit swirly and a whole lot wider. And in the 80s style racks, kind of, I guess maybe the most iconic rack chorus of all time is the Diatronics CS5 Tri-Chorus. And you would combine that with some detune, a Yamaha SPX90 and Eventide H3000 would be the go-to kind of classic units there. But there's a pedal which has just come out which actually combines stereo pitch detune and tri-chorus, the Eventide Tricera chorus. I've also got a standalone demo video with this. Let's hear it when I kick it in. I'll just kind of stick to those like Whitesnake Queensryche style arpeggios. <laughs> We can all go home after that, basically. That is the magic, magic pedal that makes all of this work. And I'm gonna bring the detune out and then back in, just so you can hear the difference between tri-chorus on its own, which sounds fantastic, but the detune on there, just to get some extra shimmer and some extra magic. <laughs> That's glorious, so, so good. It just puts a massive smile on my face and makes me happy, which, uh, you know, they say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy pedals and it can buy guitar gear, which is probably just as good. Next up, you know, there's gonna be no surprise to anybody who's been watching the channel recently. It's the Free The Tone Future Factory. It's probably the closest thing to a TC2290 you can buy in a pedal format at the moment, both from a sonic perspective and just from the overall layout and look. I've got a standalone video with this pedal, but basically what I like 
for a stereo delay is a dual delay with a quarter note on one side and a dotted eighth note on the other side. I like the ability to tune the high end and the repeats. And this pedal really lets you do that, that you have RF phase modulation in there. You have the ability to pan repeats. You can run it as a true stereo delay or two delays in series. It's kind of magic. Let's just hear this preset where I've got it and play a bit. There is so much you can do with that delay pedal, but I'm just gonna park it there because I love the way that sounds. The final part of the equation is reverb and quite a few different reverbs came to mind here. I would say the obvious choice for a kind of mega reverb is the Strymon Big Sky. It's an amazing sounding verb with so many different modes on it, but I'm gonna go in a slightly different direction for this video and I'm gonna use the Mercury 7 from Mirus FX. This does some amazing shimmer style reverbs, but just the ultra plate mode on there, I think sounds incredible. The cathedral mode on there sounds really, really good as well. Basically this is inspired by the old Lexicon 224 reverb unit, you know, as made popular by everyone in the early eighties, but in particular, Vangelis on the soundtrack for Blade Runner. So it's kind of built as like the Blade Runner reverb, but just using it on this ultra plate for some ambience, I think is fantastic. You have individual controls for the low and high frequencies, as well as modulation on the reverb. Let's just uh, maybe turn the delay off so that we can hear the reverb on its own. Uh, I'm just gonna kick it in and just play around with the overall decay. <laughs> It also sounds ridiculous on lead tones like that. I just dialed down the mix control on all of those units. So there you go. There's my pick for the ultimate 80s guitar rack 
in pedal format. Let me know what you all thought in the comments. I do have to say with something like this, there's kind of two ways you can look at it where it's like it's a lot more affordable and it's kind of incredibly cheap if you compare these pedals to the units they're inspired by. Like think of a real Lexicon 224 and a 2290 and a Tri-Chorus and an Eventide H3000 and a Rack Mount 1176. And you're looking at some serious money there. But if you just look at the retail price of these pedals alone, you're kind of getting into the territory of things like the Fractal Audio FM3, which will do all of this and so much more. And a lot of the other units out there like the you know, Helix or the HX Stomp will do a lot of these things. The HX Effects on its own, I think is fantastic. The Boss GT Core that has just come out does a lot of these effects, not necessarily in exactly the same way. You can do a lot of tweaking to it and kind of get in the ballpark. So from that perspective, you're kind of stuck between these two extremes as a value proposition. But what I think I can say about all of these pedals is individually, they each kind of capture the character and the magic of those great old rack units. And together, they're really, really easy to use. Each one in there you could hear added its own distinct sonic character. You could just twist a few knobs and get to exactly where you wanted to go. So let me know what you all thought about the tones and the pedals in the video description. And if you would like to see videos like this in the future, if you wanna support the channel, there are links in the video description. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time. <laughs>